Okay, a and students, this is just a quick view uh, of the brachial plexus, the series of nerves going out from the spinal cord out to the upper limb. This would be looking at the right limb as if the person were laying on their back, ventral side up, and you can see the spinal nerves that give rise to the brachial plexus. There's even a little contribution from nerve 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Those are the cervical C through 8, 3, 5, C4 through 8, and then the first thoracic nerve. And you can see them making their way through a series of crossovers until we have a medial cord. They go under the clavicle. We have a medial cord and a lateral cord giving rise in that classic M of the brachial plexus to the three main nerves out to the anterior compartment of the upper limb, the musculocutaneous, staying proximal, going to the biceps, the two cords coming together to form the median, going down the middle to those forearm flexors, wrist and digital flexors, and then the ulnar nerve going all the way down to the intrinsics of the hand. So that's a very schematic view of it. Here's a little more realistic view with some of the positioning in the, in, in a, in the body. So there you can see again, C4 through 8 plus T1 contributing to the brachial plexus, passing under some of these muscles of the neck and the clavicle, which has been cut away, and emerging in the axillary or armpit region. Um, on the anterior side is the medial cord and the lateral cord, that classic M of the brachial plexus, giving rise to the musculocutaneous nerve, not labeled, the median nerve going down the middle, and the ulnar nerve. Uh, ulnar nerve going all the way to the palm intrinsics, the median nerve going to the... Um, wrist and digital flexors or forearm flexors and that musculocutaneous nerve staying proximal and going to the to the um, biceps muscle if you want to see this in the cadaver in the PAL program and these are the images you should look at for our exams in the lab you look at nervous system you go to the peripheral nervous system and we're just going to jump through to the one on the upper limb right here the brachial plexus and show the labels so you can really see things light up here you can see in the neck region here are those um the ventral rami of the spinal nerves that's what we're talking about there the spinal nerves that come off the spinal cord that's what you can see of them in the neck there going through their brachial plexus under the clavicle that's been cut away and then what i'd like you to pay attention to and the lateral cord right here that's the lateral cord and then the medial cord which we can see, we can't see too well here on this view. And then you've got the musculocutaneous nerve, the, medi the median nerve coming down the middle. Remember the, the radial nerve goes down the back. There's the medial nerve coming down the middle and the ulnar nerve. The next image shows it even better. So it's a similar image, but a much nicer view. There you can see those ventral rami of the brachial plexus coming off the, the spinal nerves in the cervical region, going through their plexusing where the clavicle's been removed. They go around the, uh, radio, the brachial artery that comes through the middle there. And when we come out on the other side, there's the medial cord, nicely displayed. There's the lateral, lateral can't get it to light up here, the lateral cord, what you can see of it, and then the classic M, boom, 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 with the musculocutaneous nerve coming off the M all the way over there, going out to the biceps muscle, the median nerve going down the middle to those wrist and digital flexors, and the ulnar nerve going all the way down to the end of the limb. Hope that's a help. I want to remind you, when you're looking at these images, please be sure to use your wish list so you'll know exactly what we're looking for all the time.